So I recently had an over voltage situation with my solar panels here and these are LG 405s and they have uh, 72 individual cells and the open circuit voltage is 49.2 volts. So since I have these in series I'm pretty close to 100 volts right and I had them running all summer and you know it was great until the temperature started to drop and the efficiency of these panels really shoots up as you reach lower temperatures. So my charge controller was a 100 volt Victron MPPT charge controller that can handle 50 amps of charging, volt, uh, charging current. So I hit the threshold of 100 volts, actually it was 99.2 volts, and my charge controller threw a fault. So this fault resets automatically after the uh, solar array reaches a safe level and it was hovering around 88 85 88 volts and you know this fault you know never really cleared and i tried to manually clear it and it took a while i even disconnected the solar panels and it really didn't do anything for a few minutes i plugged them back in and you know the fault was still there so it stopped charging the charge controller was pretty much locked up went through the night and then the next day I wasn't really at the cabin for a, a few days and you know it worked okay and then it triggered again at about 100 volts it threw a fault and then it ended up not resetting for about three days so there are a couple of things I can do you know the easy way is instead of running these in series I could wire these in parallel so I would only go in at 50 volts but you know instead of 10 amps or nine, 9 amps, I would have 18 amps running through my 10 gauge wire and it's not really efficient that way. So I ended up buying another charge controller that handles up to 150 volts and, and, and that's what I'm using right now and it's running just fine. So my message here is, you know, if you get too close to the upper limit of the voltage, at least for Victron components, if they say 100 volts, they mean it. Uh, mine triggered at 99. 2 volts and it had an over voltage fault that lasted several hours so just be aware of it so the LG 380s only have 60 cells instead of 72 so their open circuit voltage is significantly lower uh, I'm not quite sure I, I think it's in the 45 volt range so that should be pretty safe to run in series even at colder temperatures uh, with the Victron charge controller that only handles 100 volts yeah, look at the size differences of the old controller, the 100 volt 50 amps compared to the 150 volt 60 amps. So of course now the controller is going to be mounted lower and therefore the wires are shorter coming from the solar panels. I had to pull the sleeve and you know cut a piece off so I got to feed that back in. And I'm also upgrading the wire that goes to the bus bar uh, to 4 gauge so I can pump uh, full 60 amps uh, into this thing here, yeah, no problem. Yeah, so this is what it looks like right now. Actually, I was able to leave the fuse in here because uh, the wires just come right off of the bus bar. So I disconnected the old ones, pulled the charge controller, uh, cut the uh, channel here a little bit, took it out, cut it. So this is 10 gauge coming from the solar panels and this is 4 gauge running to the bus bar and uh, I'm gonna put the cover back on and then I can verify the settings yeah so it's all back together right here I think it's nice and clean charge controller works problem solved see you guys on the next one